Hey everyone, welcome to another math video by Trades Tutor. Today we're going to look at the rolling offset. So what that is, is when a pipe not only goes in a horizontal direction, but it also goes in a vertical direction. And then we throw in a third direction. It moves laterally. So the idea is, if you're putting in a piece of pipe, it goes something like that. It goes from one side of the room to the other side of the room and cuts through the room. Now th this wouldn't happen in a room, but it would happen in a, in a tight space. You can imagine it though, a piece of pipe coming in one side of a room and cutting straight across to the other and going out the other side, just like the drawing shows you. Well, the idea is, how do we calculate some of the dimensions? Now, first thing though, is we're always gonna be dealing here with a 45 degree rolling offset. So what that means is those two fittings are both 45s. So what comes into the room or comes into the space, I should say, and it goes 45 degrees, kind of goes up diagonally, and then goes out on another 45. All right? So that's what we're looking for there, and we call that the travel. What is that distance from one side to the other side? And although this may seem like a complicated process, it's actually sp quite straightforward, and it relies on figuring out two triangles. So triangle number one is that guy right there and it is a a b and c now one of the things to note this is a right triangle so we use can use our pythagoras theorem a squared plus b squared plus equals c squared or we want to try to solve for c we get c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared so now we found C. That's the first triangle. And we take that C and we got to use it in the second triangle. Now, the second triangle, remember that that's a 45, is comprised of this part, the yellow part. Now, if one side's a 45, the other side's a 45, that means that the, well, sorry, if one angle's 45, then the other angle's 45 which means that the two sides are the same. So both of those sides are equivalent. So C on one side is C on the other. And then what we're going to try to find is the travel. We can call it H in this diagram. And in a 45 degree right triangle, H is simply C, or either of the two, times 1.414. So basically, it's 0.414 times bigger than C. And there you go. There you have it. Two triangles to get you your 45-degree rolling offset. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And I am going to make another video shortly that goes through an example of this so we can uh, work through an example together. Take care.